Jase. What time is it? It's 10 o'clock. We've been here an hour. Right, sorry. It's really comfy in here. Okay. Woody and I have come to this woodland to see if we can forage for berries, flowers, petals, leaves, anything at all that we can cook for dinner back in the camper van. So obviously this is winter and there's an awful lot less to forage for. <laughs> Even Woody can't find anything. In the spring and the summer particularly, this will be full of stuff. And these, this is blackberry bush. So all of this side of this bank will be covered in fruits that you could pick. Doesn't help for today's dinner, but you know, if we come back. Come on, let's go. So you'll often find low down here. Again, not this time of the year, but where these sorts of plants are here, you'll get wild garlic growing. It's very similar, thicker leaf, and you can just cut the leaf off, use it for pesto and in the cooking. It tastes like, well, like garlic, like sort of onions, and uh, it's a really, really nice flavor. It's the wrong time of year to find any, but you know, another time. It's not looking like we're gonna find very much to eat, is it? <laughs> Come on, let's go. The ferns and mosses in here are absolutely stunning as well. Sadly, they're not edible either, unless you're a reindeer. Uh, but I'm not. Oh, look, Woody. Oh, that's a stick as well. I thought it was a sausage. I got lucky. Oh, well. The thing about this gorgeous place that we're in, in South Wales, is this waterfall and the river. So natural running water, perfect for a great cup of tea. Perfect, actually, for making some mash a little bit later on, some root veg mash. Um, not that I'm going to find any root veg here, but fortunately, I stopped off at a local shop, cheated a tiny bit. Now I need some water, obviously, for tea, but also for tonight's dinner. And uh, if you're gonna go collecting water from a water source, a wild water source like this, try and find very fast moving water. Ideally as high upstream as possible because there's likely to be less contamination. This is ideal because literally behind us is an epic waterfall and this is the runoff here. So I'm gonna grab some of this, get that in a pan, get it boiled, more importantly, get it in a kettle. Join us in the next episode for one final adventure where I'll be attempting to cook the foraged ingredients that I didn't really find. So, the exciting bit about foraging, of course, is bringing it back here. And I just washed my hands because this doody little van has an onboard sink. Um, and I thought I'd share with you one of my favorite recipes using sort of earthy, easily forageable stuff. This is uh, thyme. Thyme is a lovely earthy herb. We're gonna chop up this thyme. This is really nice like this. Oh, I put a bit extra in for Woody as well. Slice a little bit of butter in there. Where okay. did you find the butter, Jess? Oh, well the butter obviously isn't foraged. I got that from the, from the, from the shop. So, uh, on the gas stove, and then we're gonna add into there some chopped onions, a little bit of chopped garlic, add the thyme in, and you'll get this lovely aromatic, oniony, garlicky, sort of thymey smell. Bit of seasoning in there, and then we're gonna add some of these mushrooms. All right, so that there is warmed up really quickly, so we can turn the gas right down. The thing when you're foraging for mushrooms is to make sure you really do know whether they're edible or not. Some mushrooms can be really quite poisonous. Those mushrooms, Go in there with the garlic, the butter, the thyme, and those few onions as well. Uh, next bit's optional. Uh, I think it's really nice to have a little bit of a uh, little bit of a kick, a little bit of spice. But I'm just going to pop maybe half of this in. Now while that's cooking, I've already popped in this pan here uh, half a carrot. Now bearing in mind this is for Woody and I, so there's not much. So there's half a carrot, uh, one potato, and some celeriac a little bit of salt, pepper, and some whole grain mustard in as well to create a really lovely, rooty mash. Did you find the herbs whilst foraging? Well, well no, no. It, it's winter. Like, there's only so much you can get. I had to get the herbs from the shop. Yeah. And how about those mushrooms? The, the, it's winter! I can't get mushrooms in the... Nothing, mushrooms don't grow in the winter. Right? I can't get this stuff. I have to buy it all from the shops, OK? You ruined this.
Well, Woody and I have really enjoyed our adventure here in Wales, and I have to say we will definitely be back. And while I was a bit upset that we weren't going to the California for some sunshine, there's something about this California that's really stolen my heart. What do you think, Woody? Do you like it? He loves it. Amazing. Woody and I have had such an amazing time exploring this country in the Volkswagen California campervan. Oh, Woody. We've encountered stunning views across the Welsh hills. We've explored the epic 90 foot waterfall. It is so incredibly beautiful. Which, by the way, features in the 2012 Batman film, The Dark Knight Rising. We even collected water from that waterfall took it back to our camper van to brew the freshest cup of tea I have had in my life using my very own brand of tea. It tastes different. Ooh. We foraged the local woodland for natural ingredients. Oh, look Woody. Oh, that's a stick as well, I thought it was a sausage. And cooked up a delicious 100% natural dish. It's winter! I can't get mushrooms in the, nothing, mushrooms don't grow in the winter. But they buy it all from the shops, you ruined this. Amazing. And like every outdoor experience, we were privileged to see nature in all its glory. Thanks so much for joining us on our journey. It's been brilliant to have you along on the ride. Don't forget to subscribe and check out new exciting adventures with Woody and I coming very soon. Good boy. You're going to bed now. <laughs> <laughs>